This is a quick video on how to do a design rule check on your schematic, just to make sure your electrical rules are correct. This circuit that I'm going to do the design rule check for is the boost converter circuit right here. And I wired it up correctly, or so I think, but there's a way to double check the work. So go to your project tab in ORCAD Capture, and then for this page here, or your entire design, depending on what you want to check, you can go to Tools and then Design Rules Check. There are so many things you can check as indicated by this ERC matrix, uh, but we're just going to leave the default the way it is. Like the electrical rules, you can run a custom DRC and all of that, but we won't get into all that. I'll choose check entire design, which in this case is the same as choosing check selection because there's only one page in the design. So we want to check design rules and run electrical rules. I will leave run physical rules unchecked because I'm not concerned about footprints or anything like that. It's talking about PCB footprints. So I'm just going to leave that unchecked. Then I can create a report file and choose view output and then send that report file to my project, uh, learn or cat online, boost converter or boost and then you can choose that. But in any case, I don't even need that, but I'll check mark it anyway. Click OK on your keyboard and the output will show in the session log if you did not check this output thing. But in any case, your boost.drc or the DRC file shows up. And what we see here are some warnings. So possible pin type conflict, zero, power connected to bidirectional. Oh, that's not good, is it? Well, it's actually not bad. Uh, it's just a warning. Ideally, our power connect would be connected to a power pin. But let's move on to the next one, possible pin type conflict. Uh, U1, A ground, bidirectional to power, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You usually don't have to worry about these pin type conflicts. These are just warnings. And um, generally, I like to match my pin types to whatever I'm connecting to them. So I like to connect my power to power pin types. Uh, but that requires editing a part, and you have to do all the pin type uh, changing and all that stuff. What's really important is making that there are no single node nets that is floating wires just floating around, not connected to anything and checking for unconnected bus nets. Uh, so usually when there's errors, you want to check those out. But if it's just warnings like with the pin types, uh, you know, I don't worry about it too much. OK, that means that electrically the circuit has everything connected. So that's good. All right. Thank you for watching this video. You learned how to do a design rule check on your schematic. Make sure that any schematic you do, you do a design rule check on. Thank you for watching.